Who's next for Canelo? We answer that next. Please like and subscribe. Help us hit 10,000 subscribers. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another episode of Tuesday Night Fights. We're at it again. Another mismatch fight uh, made from uh, superstars in, in completely different weight classes. A uh, mega fight uh, between Canelo Alvarez and Sergey Kovalev could be on the horizon. Canelo Alvarez, the obvious A-side, uh, the biggest draw in the sport, has expressed interest in fighting WBO light heavyweight champion Sergey Kovalev. Again, if Canelo wants the fight, and it, it, he... And he may. It seems like he does. He's the one that brought it up. It wasn't like we were demanding this fight. The fight will get made. There's no one out there who can bring in, um, who could offer that big of a payday to, to Canelo as, as could Kovala. Um, there's no one who could offer that big of a payday to Kovala as Canelo could. So if that fight's offered to Kovala in, 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 in serious terms, Kovala would take the fight. He could not take the fight, right? I, I get to beat up this little guy and I get the biggest payday of my life. Yeah, let's do that. Um, Kovalev is at the end of his career, or nearing the end of his career. I, I, you know, mid thirties, late thirties. Um, this is it. And if he can cash in on this fight, he's gonna do that. Um, I do think Kovalev would win. I think Kovalev would win for the same reason that I think Canelo Alvarez would beat Errol Spence when that fight was rumored. And I, the same reason I think Errol Spence beats Mikey Garcia um, because his weight class is for a reason. And you should fight the guys at your own weight class. Um, you know, this fight, I think, could happen. I'm not saying it will happen. I, I, I think it's more than just a call out. I think Canelo wants to reach for greatness. And he wants to get another belt. And he thinks he can win this fight. And Kovalev is a star. He's a big draw. I, I think this fight is, is, is appealing to people, so therefore it could get made. Um, I, that being said, I am totally and one hundred percent against the fight, just as I'm opposed to Canelo fighting Spence or um, Spence fighting Mikey Garcia, which is happening because there are, and I'll say it again, weight classes for a reason. What happened to cleaning out all the guys in your own weight class? It's not as if 160 or 175, there's no one for Canelo or Kovalev to fight. It's not like they cleaned up those divisions or there's no intriguing fights in those divisions. That's simply not true. 160 may be the best division in boxing. Um, we're going to do uh, an article on that on, on 3dboxingblog.com in the days in, in the days to come. Uh, so keep your eyes open for that. We're going we're gonna to rank the best weight class in boxing. Middleweight is definitely in the discussion. He's got a fight with Jacobs. He's got a trilogy... Uh, with, with Triple G. He's got a mandatory with Jamal Chalo. There's uh, Demetrius Andre. There are a ton of good fights that can be made. Rob Brandt looks excellent. And he hasn't beaten any of those guys besides a, a controversial one over uh, Golovkin, which they can do again. There are so many good names in that weight class. And what if he loses... <coughs> what if he loses to Jacobs? Oh, bless you. Um... Sorry about that. What if he loses to Jacobs? Again, I'm picking Canelo to pick... I'm picking Canelo to beat Jacobs late. I, I think he stops him late. Uh, tenth round knock as my official prediction. But it's not... He's not definitely going to win. Jacobs could win. I thought Jacobs beat Triple G. Right? So Jacobs could win this fight. Um, Jacobs is the better athlete. Jacobs has plenty of power. Jacobs is bigger, uh, you know, bigger and, and longer. He could win. It's like he, he's not definitely going to, you know, Jacobs isn't definitely going to lose. He definitely has the ability to, if he fights the right fight, he could win. But, of course, I'm picking Canelo, as I feel most people are. But let me know who you guys pick to win that fight. So, he's not going to fight Andrade. He's not going to fight Charlie. So, he's not going to fight the best guys in the weight class. He's not even going to go to 68 and, and fight the guys at 68. He's going to go up to 75. There's absolutely no reason. There's no reason... And there's no demand for him to, to fight Kovalev. I mean, it's not like we're all sitting here begging for him to fight Kovalev. No one to for that fight. Um, and Kovalev has a ton of fights that he could make at 75. Light heavyweight is a great division also. A lot of good fighters at 175. Uh, Vazdik, Bival, 
better be. So Marcus Brown, fight those guys. Andre Durrell. I don't know if he's ever going to fight again. Um, but he said he is moving to 175. So there are a ton of big names for both these guys to fight. They haven't cleaned the division out. It's not like they've beaten all these guys. So go beat those guys. Again, and I, I don't know. I don't know if, if um, Kovalev beats Vazdik, Baval, or Marcus Brown. Like, I don't know. But obviously Canelo offers a much bigger payday than those that guys do and probably is, is a smaller risk. So it, risk reward, it would be stupid for Kovalev not to take the fight, which is why I think the fight will get made. If Canelo is serious about it, and he seems to be serious about it, um, he, he, he thinks he can win this fight. It's not ridiculous to think so, but that being said, I pick Kovalev because he's bigger and stronger. And he's a massive puncher for a light heavyweight. Now, if I said if they were the same size, you know, who would I pick to win? You know, I, I, I'd pick Canelo, but they're not the same size, which is the problem. So I pick Kovalev to win. There's just no need for these fights. I mean, we see, we're see we going to see what happens again when uh, Mikey Garcia gets annihilated by Earl Spence. And I, and I like Mikey. I think Mikey is a top four guy, a five guy in the world, pound for pound. But this is not a, I mean, this this is not a fight he can win. This isn't even a reasonable fight. He's fighting the biggest, baddest guy at 147 who's too big for 47. You know what I'm saying? This is like, at a certain point, it's too much. It's too much. Um, so, I don't know. Do you guys want to see this fight? It, it, it's tough for me with, with all the fights that both of these guys can take. Would you rather see Canelo fight... Um, Charlo and Kovalev fight Bavol, or Canelo fight Kovalev. You, you guys pick. You know, again, I'm opposed to all these fights. You guys tell me what you think. I'm opposed to Mikey Garcia and Errol Spence. I'm opposed to guys jumping up two weight classes. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Uh, tell me what you guys think about the Mikey Garcia fight with Errol Spence. Tell me what you think about this fight. Do you think this fight is just, it's too ridiculous? They're, they, they, they are too, there's too much of a size difference. You know, do you think Kovalev could jump up to heavyweight and beat, uh, do you think Kovalev could jump up to heavyweight and beat Wilder? I'm being serious. You know, it, it, it seems like a lot, you know. Um, I, I don't think Wilder is the most skilled fighter in the world. But, do you, I mean, so at a certain point, it really, it matters. Do you think Kovalev could be Usyk? So, again, my answer to those are no. Because those guys are much bigger than him. But let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, I'm opposed to the fight, although I, I think it's an entertaining scrap, but I think Kovalev finishes him. You know, I've heard, you know, People say Canelo's chin is epic and he he can he can walk through Kovalev's punches. I don't think so. But is this a fight y'all interesting and interested in? And do you think it, it's realistic, or do you think it's just a meaningless call out to get more attention on Canelo's name? If you go back to the '80s and Hagler had cleaned out the middleweight division and he was calling out the welterweights to move up and come fight him and Michael Spinks, who was the light heavyweight champ of the world, would say, well, why don't you come up and fight me? And I go, I'm not going to do that. And, and Larry Holmes was calling out Spinks to come up. It's like, just fight the guys at your own size, right? Like, I, I give Canelo credit for this, because instead of fighting, you know, talking about fighting Spence, like they talked about earlier, like, like Oscar talked about earlier, now he's talking about moving up. But what's wrong with just fighting the guys at 60 and then fighting the guys at 68? I'd rather see him fight Bavol at 68. Bavol says he can make 68. Let's see it. But it doesn't look like any of those. It doesn't look like that's going to happen. Caleb Smith. None of those fights are really going to happen. Um, he says he wants to fight in the UK and fight all over the world. I don't know where they plan on making this fight. But it certainly could happen. Do you guys think it's realistic? And break it down for me. Leave, leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, 
are you tired of this fight? Are you tired of, of, of mismatched weight classes fights in general like I am? Um, especially when guys are in really, really loaded weight classes. Don't you think they should just fight guys in their own size? Um, let me know what you think. Again, uh, 3dboxingblog.com is the website. Remember to leave your thoughts, comments. Remember to hit the like and subscribe button as well. For Tuesday Night Fights from Texas to the world, this is 3D Boxing. Signing off, saying thank you, and God bless. Enjoy 3D Boxing Vlog videos? Show us some love by clicking the like button. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3dboxingvlog.com is also on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.